Sheila Mills and Mickey Keller are being chained to this board as part of a very dangerous and potentially explosive magic trick. Sheila's never done anything like this before. A few days earlier, she's answered a classified ad to become a magician's assistant, and this is her first performance. Escape artist Frank Puff, dressed in black, is setting up this dramatic stunt he calls Trial by Fire. Moments before the trick began, Frank soaked the material around the edge of the board with gasoline. Then his assistant placed a three-minute cannon fuse in some gunpowder on the ground. Now, Sheila and Mickey are bound to the board with real ropes and chains. Once the fuse is lit, Frank must first free himself from a pair of handcuffs and escape from inside this locked mailbag. Then he must rescue both women before they're consumed in a fireball of flames. Usually when the board does blow up, we have just stepped away from it. Uh, it's timed so that as just as I make the final release of the handcuff, she steps over the board just as her feet clears it, the gunpowder goes off. And it can be very deadly if you're standing above it or near it. Frank's assistant, Kelly Roberts, locks him in the bag. Sheila is nervous. Even before the trick began, she was ready to back out. Sheila looks at me and she says, you know, Mickey, I have a really bad feeling about this. I really, I don't think we should do this. And I just turned and looked at her and said, oh, no, it, this is going to be loads of fun, she. This is, you know, no problem. We know what we're doing. We can get out. The fuse is lit. In three minutes, the gunpowder and the petrol would explode. Frank struggles inside the bag. Kelly calls out the time so Frank will know just how long he has before the fuse ignites the explosives. At last, Frank is out of the bag. Now he's just got 90 seconds to untie the women. Mickey's almost free, but as Frank returns to help Sheila, he's shocked by what he sees. The fuse is burning way too fast and the gunpowder is about to explode. Kelly tries to pull out the fuse. But he's too late. The blast knocks Kelly right off his feet. It felt like hell broke loose when the explosion went off. Extreme heat, noise, uh, set me back a good 10 feet. And for a second I was disoriented. I had no idea where I was. As I was taking my foot out of my last rope, bam, I was, the next thing I knew, I was on the ground. I was on the ground, rolling over, going, looking for Sheila, Frank, and Kelly, and not seeing them. And then it hit me, oh my God, Sheila's still on the board. Sheila is trapped, and the flames are threatening to engulf her. Frantically, she pulls at her restraints, but she can't get free. At last, the fireman arrives with an extinguisher and douses the flames. But it was like, I'm going to be burned alive. But it was like I had no control over it. Incredibly, Sheila suffers only minor burns. But Frank knows that this accident could have been much worse. Nobody wants to try this at home. We got lucky they might not. Thank you.